But for now, I'm joined by John Caldwell, an entrepreneur. Uh, Phones for You was his company. And can you start off by asking your, for your overall reaction to what you've been hearing of the course of the day and indeed from the Prime Minister tonight? Well, I'm extremely disappointed by this decision. You know, we, we face, as we all know, the most absolutely cataclysmic climatic and environmental challenge ahead. And this was an opportunity to try and put Britain ahead of the curve against Europe. We, by choosing 2030, we're going to be pushed into making sure that we got renewable electricity and pushed into making sure we got charge stations and very efficient methods of transport. Necessity is the mother of invention. Yes, there would have been challenges, but then we would be ahead of the game. And one of my uh, big uh, recommendations to Rishi over the years has been to really invest dynamically in environmental technologies and bring people into the UK, companies from all over the world into the UK on special tax breaks to develop environmental technology so that in five or ten years time we have a booming industry in something that is going to be so vital to the existence of mankind and we're so, losing opportunities and now this is a huge backward step so do you see this as frankly petty party politics and a lack of ambition a lack of forward foresight yeah, absolutely. But I mean, it's worse than that, isn't it? Because there is so much at stake. And also, I think it's an, a massive misjudgment, because if you look at what the Conservative Party's, Party's done for the last few years, it's it's pretty poor. We're most of us extremely disappointed with the way the country has been managed. And when they come to the election uh, in a year or so's time, what have they got to say? The standard of living won't be much improved on today, if at all, and probably not not at all. But if they were saying, we are investing in Britain, we're bringing country, companies from all over the world to invest in environmental technology, it will take five to ten years for these companies to come on, uh, you know, to come yeah. up to speed and to be generating revenue and income for the UK. But that will happen. So, sorry, we haven't quite got it right today. We're in a tough place because of some external aspects and some of the things we got wrong. But look what we're doing for the future. This is the way we're going to make Britain extremely prosperous in five to ten years' time. At least they'd have a story to sell to the electorate. At the moment, they've got no story. Mm. Um, and, you know, you spent your life looking at investment. Tell me a little bit about the uncertainty that this decision is going to put into the whole environmental investment world. Because if you delay it by five years, people will expect you to maybe delay it by another five years or to 2040 and, and so on and so on. And Absolutely. as I understand it, that makes it very hard for companies. It's a disastrous pussyfooting move, which isn't going to do the Tories any good whatsoever. It won't buy them a vote. I mean, I know some people will think it's a good move, but a lot of people that, like me will think it's a dreadful move. And it will cause us to slow down in our uh, aims of trying to get to net zero as mm. soon as possible. Now, my particular view is we may already be past the tipping point, but I hope that's wrong. And I'm not saying we are. But if we're not, we're getting towards the tipping point extremely quickly. We cannot afford delays. But in any event, it's absolutely commensurate. The wealth of Britain is commensurate with solving the global crisis on the environment. The two go hand in hand. And yeah. we're losing a massive opportunity by going backwards and taking the foot off the gas or actually putting the foot back on the gas, you know, in yeah. terms of yeah. burning fossil fuels. It's utterly wrong, utterly wrong. And, and John, we will I'm sorry to, to jump in. I'm sorry to jump in there, John. You're an independent-minded guy. You've supported the Conservatives in the past. Labour are going to stick by the old targets um, and try to get onshore wind moving and so forth. Would you tilt towards them a bit, given what you see from the two big parties' environmental policies? You know, I will always support any political party that I believe has got the best for Britain and the best policies for Britain. Yeah. Most of the time during my lifetime, uh, voting lifetime of 50-odd years, 
that has been conservative. I believed in the policies and I believed in what they were doing. Uh, not always a great fan of, but generally. I'm afraid now I am extremely disappointed. It, it feels strange to think that I might switch towards Labour, but I just need to see a party that are going to grab this ball by the horns and do what's right for Britain, invest in our future and have the right policies. And if that's Labour is against Tories, well, you know, the writing's on the wall because I will support whoever I believe is going to be best for the Britain's prosperity and the people of yeah. Britain. John Cordwell, thank you very much.